this is Man Walks and I'm Man Walks of Tarot. It is Monday, September the 27th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, everybody? I hope you're doing well. I hope you take care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. It's a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone out there. Take what it does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck. This is going to be a past, present, future reading for all 12 zodiac signs. Cutting the deck for Aries. How do they feel about you? Three of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Three of Wands. They are waiting for you. They have your eye. They are. They have your their eye on you. They are waiting for you. They want you. Seven of Swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. As you can see, she's got two swords in one hand, three swords in the other hand, and looking back. Um, this is talking about being sneaky, uh, toxic behavior, lying, cheating, stealing. So, I they, they don't trust you. They don't trust you. They think you're sneaky. And Queen of Cups. But they do love you. They do love you. They are waiting for you. They are not exactly sure if they trust you or not. They they think you are toxic. But they do love you. They do love you. Aries. Oops. Doris, three shuffles. One, two, three. Let's cut the deck for Taurus. Spirit. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, Swords are energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seven of Swords talks about toxic behavior, lying, cheating, stealing, uh, being sneaky. So Taurus, they think you're lying, lying to you and cheating, and cheating on them. They think you're sneaky and they don't trust you. Ten Pentacles, Ten Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ten of Pentacles. Um, they see future here. It's a card of ultimate financial abundance. Uh, happy family. Um, there's a house. Um, they do want to happily ever after with you. Ten Pentacles. And Four of Swords. Four of Swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Four of Swords. Looks like they are taking some time out, some time to themselves, to rest, relax, recuperate, rejuvenate, to find out whether, whether they want, that, whether they can trust you or not, um, whether you're their forever person. So they're taking some time to themselves to rest, relax, recuperate, rejuvenate. Gemini, one, two, three. Got the deck. Spirit. The world, the world. World's talk, the world talks about the end of a cycle. Could be the end of a karmic cycle. 
I don't know what to say about that right now. Let's see what else. Just thinking about, thinking it's the end. Nine of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Nine of Pentacles. This is the single card. Single because they want to be single. Um, they're stable. Ground is stable balance. Um, they think that you want to stay single. They think that you want to stay single. King of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The King of Wands. He's good looking, charismatic, fun to be with. Um, they are very sexually attracted to you. They are not sure whether this is over or not. And they think that you want to be single. And, but there's a lot of passion there. They want to have sex with you. They want your wand, male or female. Cancer. Three. Okay. Cutting the deck. Spirit. Four of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Tor Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Four of Pentacles talks about holding on to something with their heart chakra. They are holding on to you. Um, they want they want a future. Um, they're not sure. They do want you. They're holding on to you with their heart chakra. They want you. Ten swords. Ten swords. Ten swords talking about um, being stabbed in the back ten times. Um, they think that this is, has been a very, very painful relationship. And they want out. The Empress, the Empress, this is uh, Libra and Taurus energy, divine feminine, she is maternal, um, independent, sits in her power, sits in her throne, doesn't get out of her throne for anyone or anything. They do, they, they kind of, they worship you, um, they think you are the Empress, they think you are divine feminine, male or female, and uh, they do want you. They're holding on to you with their, your heart chakra. They think this has been a very, very painful relationship. But they do, um, they do have feelings for you with the Empress. I don't know if they... They might feel like they're not good enough for you. That makes sense. Yeah. Leo. Cut in the deck for Leo. Spirit. The fool. The fool. I like this fool. She's like dressed in a little, um, little pretty outfit. Looks like she's got flowers on it. She got her uh, her phone with her headphones on. She's listening to music. She's not looking where she's going. Um, she's uh, ready to move on to a new cycle, ready to take a leap of faith. Dog is trying to say, be, be careful, be careful. But she, she wants a new journey with you. Um, she wants to take a leap of faith. She, he. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Swords are Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seven of Swords, two swords in one hand, three swords in the other. Looking back, this is a sneaky individual. Uh, this person is a liar, a cheater, a thief. They do not trust you. 
They think you're they think you're sneaky and they think that you are cheating, lying, cheating, stealing from them. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands. Wands are fire energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius, Queen of Wands, the Queen of Fire, the Queen of Passion. They they are very sexually attracted to you. They want your wand, male or female. There's a lot of lust here. They want to take a leap of faith. They think you're sneaky, lying, cheating, stealing, but there's a lot of sexual attraction there. Okay, let's cut the deck for Virgo. I started my oven. I was going to eat something, but... <laughs> I haven't yet. How do they feel about you? Seven of Swords. This card just keeps on coming out. Coming out tonight. Swords are Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Seven of Swords. They think you're a liar. They think you're a cheat. Um, they think you're a thief. They think you're um, running around on you. They think you're sneaky. Nine swords. Nine swords. They're all up in their head about you. Uh, swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This talks about sleepless nights, having dreams, worrying about sitting up at night, worrying about what they could have, should have, would have done differently if they could. Ace of swords. Ace of swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're looking for... New, clear, honest communication. Uh, they, I don't think they trust you at all. This is sneaky. This is um, staying up at night, worrying about things, how things could be different. They want uh, honest, new, honest, clear communication with you. But I, I think that they think this is over. All right, this is it, part one. I will be back with Libra to Pisces. Have a great night, and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.